This video is gonna show us how to find areas underneath standard normal distribution curves. Um, and we're gonna look at finding areas to the left of a value, finding areas to the right of a value, and then finding areas in between two values. So the first example here asks us to find the area under the standard normal curve that lies to the left of z equals 1.04. So because it says the standard normal curve, we know that this is a Z distribution. Um, we know it's centered at zero and has standard deviation one. And so we can label out to three standard deviations above and three standard deviations below the mean. Um, at this point, we're gonna look at the Z value they gave us, which was 1.04, so we're just barely above one here. Um, that's the value that we um, are interested in. And specifically regarding that value, we're looking to the, um, for the area that lies to the left of that z-score. So that's all this area down here. Okay, continuing infinitely to the left, okay? Um, so that's what we're looking for, is how to find that area. Um, the way that we're gonna do that is with our calculator. Okay, um, and so let's see if we can get it in there. Um, and so what we're gonna do is we're going to go to right here, it says it's a second function, it says D-I-S-T-R for distribution. Um, and what we want to do is we want to do normal CDF. So that stands for the normal cumulative distribution function. And we're going to hit enter. So we did second DISTR. And then we chose option two that said normal CDF. Um, and then what it asks us is it asks us lower, upper, mean, and standard deviation. Um, so I want you to think about these distributions with their axis as just being a number line. We're used to looking at number lines. And the lower is always going to refer to the leftmost value where we want to start finding area. So lower is going to be the leftmost value. Upper is going to be the rightmost value. So in this case, um, we're, going, we're going on to negative infinity, right? We wanted all the area to the left of 1.04. And so the way we show that in the calculator is just some extremely um, large in magnitude, but negative number. So I usually just type in like um, negative a million, or you could type in negative with just a big long series of nines, that would be fine too. We're just trying to show that we're going um, infinitely negative as our lower value, all the way up to when do I wanna stop finding area? Well, I wanna stop finding area once Z gets to 1.04. So that's gonna be our upper. Um, so I'm gonna try and write here as we go. So our lower, we did negative a million. Our upper, we did 1.04. Our mean, because this is a normal, um, sorry, a standard normal distribution, our mean is zero. And our standard deviation is one. And you can just hit enter all the way down and, um, or sorry, and then just keep hitting enter until you get your answer, um, which I got 0 0.850830, and it continues. Um, we normally, as a standard, are going to round our areas to four decimal places. Um, so 0 0.8508. And the other thing I want to mention is I will, um, I will, as a standard, write areas up in the top of the curve and z-scores down along the bottom. 
um, that's so that we don't get confused ever which one was which. So our z-score was 1.04. The area to the left of that z-score was 0 0.8508. And we can write that um, as a percentage if we wanted to. That's about 85.08% of the area under that curve. Okay, so that was an example um, finding area to the left of a z-score. We're gonna move on and find the area this time um, that lies to the right of a z-score. So we still have a z-score, we're still centered at zero with standard deviation one. And this time we're up at 2.65, so we're way up here for our z-score. And I can't really even shade it very well, but I want that area, right? That tiny area that lies to the right of 2.65. So we're gonna choose normal CDF again. We are gonna have um, lower, upper, mean, and standard deviation. So let me go back to the calculator. Um, as a reminder, it was second distribution, and then option two, which is normal CDF, hit enter. Um, by the way, if you have an older calculator, it's not gonna give you this menu, and it's just gonna say um, normal CDF with a parenthesis and wait for you to type things in. Um, you'll just type in comma separated, lower, upper, mu, and sigma. Um, in this case here, if we look at our curve again, our lower, remember I said lower is always gonna be the leftmost value where we wanna start finding area. So in this case, the leftmost value where I start finding area is right here at 2.65. The upper, so where do I stop? Well, I'm going on up to positive infinity, so I'm just gonna use positive a million. Mean is still zero, standard deviation is still one. And hit enter, and you will get point zero zero four zero two four six um, again our area we're going to take four decimal places so point zero zero four zero would be our answer there for the proportion of observations to the right of 2.65 and then our last example we're gonna look at finding the percentage of observations that are between two z-scores. So we're still looking at z-scores centered at zero, standard deviation one. This time we've got two z-scores that we're interested in. So we have negative 0.93, which is gonna be down here. Again, always labeling z-scores on the horizontal axis. And then our other z-score is 1.26. And what we're looking for here is that area, the area in between those two. So again, for all of these examples, we are given z-scores, we are trying to find areas and when that's the case, we're using normal CDF. So our lower, upper, mean, and standard deviation. Um, lower, our leftmost value where we wanna start finding area is negative 0.93. So as you're, as you're doing this, make sure that you are um, using the negative key along the bottom, so negative 0.93. Our upper is 1.26, that's where we wanna stop finding area. 
mean is still zero, standard deviation is still one. And we get 0.71, so let's write that over here. 0.71997977. And so rounded to four decimal places, that's gonna be 0 0.7200. Um, this one did specifically ask us for a percentage, so we would want to change that and say about 72%. So we're just multiplying that decimal by 100 to get the percentage. Okay, so, so again, in summary here, anytime you are given a z-score and you want to try and find the corresponding area, that's gonna be the normal CDF option.